Hello Rat Bags, it's Joe Plays Games, welcome to a special Ark Survival Vol video. Look at these fantastic character models. Look at this craziness we've got going on here. We've got orcs in the game, we've got elephant men, we've got shark men. This stuff is absolutely bonkers and this is courtesy of the Dragon Punk people. Now I'm sure you've probably seen the Dragon Punk people recently. I've showed them off a few times over the last year. They're part of the sponsored mod program. There is some fantastic stuff here. They have introduced this, or are going to be introducing this, as player models. These are the character models that you can be in their next upcoming season. The way that Dragon Punk do stuff is they have a collection of mod creators work with them to create their own mods, help put their mods together with their mods, and try building something that makes their worlds complete. So they've got all different types of systems on their servers. They run servers obviously and it's got like magic systems in it, got all sorts of different types of creatures and that's what they've done in the past. So Dragon Punk are doing a good job. They're also doing all sorts of things for the community lately. They're doing a charity tournament. You've got YouTubers like Fit Freedom taking part in it and he's going to be likelihood might be in the finals for winning the tournament. I love you Fit Freedom. I hope you, I hope you, I hope you fucking lose. Someone take Fit Freedom up, please do. Scream rat bags rule as you take him out. I will love you forever. But he is into the semi-finals of these charity tournament qualifiers, apparently, and they are gonna win money for charity, as well as some prizes for themselves, like Steam tournament prizes and stuff like that. If you don't know, they've been running their own battle royale thing, and that's another part of their mods program they're sort of working on. And they get paid by Wildcard. They get a bursary, they get a little bit of money every month to support what they're doing, and they share it out, I do believe, amongst some of their mod creators and, and all the stuff that they're doing. They're great at generating PR, they get loads of support from other areas, but a lot of it all comes from the literal Dragon Punk guys themselves. They do a hell of a lot of work for the art community on PC. Now, I didn't get you here with that clickbait title, and I didn't get you here just to go talking good stuff about all this stuff with Dragon Punk. I just wanted to use it to have basically a real bitch fest about where is the art content for everyone else. Because that is what community members are doing, that is what mod creators are doing, keeping ARC alive, keeping ARC fresh, keeping content there for ARC people to play, for fans of the game to really get their teeth into and try something new and innovative. What do we get? We get one new dinosaur a month. We get a pair of boots. We get a couple of explorer notes added to the game. This is the kind of bullshit we are getting on Ark Survival Evolved. And I call it, and I'm about to go ranty. So hold on to your hats. Jade Plays Games rant incoming. Extinction's not coming out until November. We've got like, what, three and a half, four months still to go. Ark devs have pretty much just shut down. They're not working to anything I could think of to show us. They've got nothing to show us. They've only just started working on Extinction because they've been doing other shit for other people. If you don't believe me, go and check out my videos where I've spoken about why I think they're working on something different. They're definitely working on something else, or they have been working on something else, because it can't. there's no reason why Extinction couldn't come out in spring. If you don't know, Arc Extinction, the last DLC that would have kept lots of content fresh for everyone, was meant to come out in spring. That's what they advertised when they sold the Season Pass when they launched Arc Survival Evolved last year, that Extinction would be out by the springtime. They only announced and told us a couple days before the end of spring that actually extinction won't be coming out and it won't be coming out until we all thought maybe summer november so that's four months away and as soon as they've done that it made everyone super pissed off because we know there's not enough content in arc at the moment and if you're wondering what i'm talking about maybe you really enjoy arc and you just play it on the grind every single day and i've been trying to get back into it with my extinction chronicles let's play series and i've been enjoying it i have but it's stale. It's really stale. The game's been out for three years since it launched an early access on PC. It's been out completely, officially, out of early access for over a year now. And the game needs content. It is an online game as well, so I'm not being harsh. If this was a single player game, you know, you'd, no question, you're not expecting them to drop content all the time. But this game is a bit like Sea of Thieves. This game is a little bit like, well, maybe maybe not so much like No Man's Sky, but in terms of the content drops that they should be providing and giving, when you play an online service game where it's got multiple servers running, you expect fresh content to keep people involved. When you think about games, and I'm not comparing them unfairly, but, you know, Fortnite and Battle Royale stuff, they implement new stuff quite regularly, weekly almost. Then we've got wild cards that can't seem to keep up any sort of content. The only content we've been receiving has been the TLC updates, which were free, 
But that stuff was meant to be in the base game when we launched. Did you know that? Before they launched, they were trying to work on that TLC stuff. But it turns out their game was a bug-ridden mess and they had to get it fixed before launch. And so all that TLC love that we saw, like where the creatures got revamped, we got some new skins for some of them, we got some new abilities added to some of them, all that stuff was meant to come at launch. It didn't. It got pushed back and back and back. They wanted money first, so they put Aberration out, and then they focused on other bits and bobs, and we finally started getting the TLC updates after Christmas. They dropped TLC free. We've been told we're not going to get TLC free until after the next Extinction DLC drops, if that, if at all. In fact, they've not committed to saying they're definitely going to be giving another round of like improvements. Now, they are updating the game frequently. They are updating the game in terms of patch fixing, bug fixing, and they have been trying their best with new server types, and I, I give them that, they're trying. But when I say they're trying, their community team are trying, the people that are in charge of the servers are trying, the actual ARC wildcard devs themselves just don't seem to give a shit. There is nothing to keep hype alive in this game, there is nothing to keep hope alive, there's nothing to keep us interested. Every week we get these community crunches and lately they've just filled with nothing. We're meant to have a live stream this Thursday, it's been cancelled, um, they're not doing it for some reason, maybe they're on holiday, who knows, that, that's not such a biggie. But, literally, there's nothing in these community crunches, we're not getting updates about new dinosaurs, we're not getting little sneak previews about extinction stuff coming up, because they've only just started working on it, they've literally only started working on it. I know we saw that trailer. But well, that trailer literally was a CGI mess. I'm telling you now, if anyone wants to keep arguing with me over it, dinosaurs didn't move accurately like they normally do. The camera shots that were panning around weren't particularly very lifelike in, as in-game. In they were definitely a lot of that was CGI. And if it wasn't, it's definitely very, very, very alpha state. That's why they could only show stuff to PC gamer interviews that were basically only um, art you know, um, renders, it weren't even full game stuff. Just look at all this stuff, it is literally artistic impressions, this is concept art, this is not even in the game properly, it's actually been properly worked on, we couldn't even get real in-game shots of this stuff, because it hadn't actually been properly made. What have Ark been doing? What have Wildcard been doing for the last six months since Christmas? Aberration came out at Christmas time. They worked on some TLC stuff. They've got a big team now. They've got, well, a relatively big team for, you know, they've got around 30 people at least working for them. So what have they been doing that we can only get concept art? We've got no previews. So I'm asking, what are the Wildcard devs doing? If they've not been working on the DLC for the last six months, what's the secret project they've been working on? Is it the Battle Royale game that I keep talking about? Is it they've just been helping Snail Games fix things like Dark and Light and Pixar? Have they been working on something completely brand new and different for Snail Games or themselves? This wouldn't be a problem if they were doing that. If they're working on other stuff to help their parent company out or they're taking some time out to work on a Battle Royale stuff, that would be good because it's all part of the ARC system. And even if it's another game like Dark and Light or Pixar, I could understand that. But at least keep some of your team working on something to show the community that supports you the most. At least give us stuff to show that our support is worth it. Because at the moment, we're getting nothing. The Extinction event that they did this week, which was coloured dinosaurs, like purple coloured dinosaurs and stuff like that, is ending. It's ending right now. They've just deployed an update to all official servers, so you won't be able to get these colours on the servers anymore. There's no information about what's replacing it. There is nothing. There is no other coloured event. There's nothing going on. That is it. We've got nothing else now other than a brand new dinosaur to go and tame, which is the Steg Tech Steg, and get some poxy explorer notes and some, you know, crappy skins. And I'll go back to Dragon Punk. Look at the stuff they're doing. Look at this stuff that these guys who get around $4,000 a month to create content, to work on their mod for the community, work on their mod for the game. Look at the stuff they're all doing, you know. They've got this great big Leviathan that's going to be able to have you base building on top of it. And you're going to be able to ride this around your server or it'll be riding around your server and you'll be able to just build on top of it and do stuff with it. Fantastic, really out there stuff. And what, and what do we get from Wildcard? We get some skins and some Explorer notes. Can you see where I'm coming from? Can you see why I'm so pissed off and so angry? I have seen so many art communities start to die. I've seen so many groups, so many servers that had hundreds of players wanting to be part of their groups and, and discords and servers. And now they're nothing. They're gone. Like I've seen so many content creators 
wondering what to do, stopping content and not getting anything good going on unless it's absolute pure fucking clickbait. Now, if you notice that I've been doing my own share of absolute clickbait hell, but I wasn't doing it because I fucking wanted to turn the tide and be like Loaded Crisis. I was doing it to prove a point. Even with maximum clickbait, even in the way that you present it now, ARK is on the decline. Where I could get 10 to 20,000 views in a video, I'm not getting that on an ARK video anymore. Now, not every YouTuber is the same. There's loads of people still growing, particularly if you're showing PvP and official stuff. And that's always been the case. And particularly the six-man tribe servers have been really popular. But even them game modes are broken as fuck. They don't necessarily work that well. Also, where are the brand new specialty servers? We were meant to get specialty servers roll through every 60 days, giving us fresh servers to play on, new stuff to try out. And we've had none of that. We've only had the six-man servers. Where's the new ideas? Where's the community servers that they gave us chances to give feedback about and said we was going to implement different things? That is the only stuff they've implemented. It might not even be 60 days. That was the fresh servers that was 60 days. We're meant to be getting brand new community created server types every month and we haven't had that we've just had the six man servers so again where's this content that they talked about where where is it all but yeah going back to the point you know i i don't generally put arrows in my videos i do it as a form of taking a piss i hate it and i hate the fact i've even had to go as far as start using red writing in my videos but youtube is a bit shit at the moment and i've got another video incoming talking about my channel explicitly and why youtube is so shit and so you've got to do what you've got to do to stay alive and stay relevant in this game. But in terms of like when you see me put a big fucking arrow like I have done on this video or put it on this video or that video, I'm literally taking the piss out of other YouTubers. If you didn't realise that, if you didn't understand the irony of that, there you go, I've educated you. I'm not doing it for the fun of it, I'm doing it literally as a joke, as a swipe, because it's it's crap. That's the only thing that's keeping people interested in ARK at the moment, is pure clickbait. Pure clickbait is the only thing that's keeping content in ARK going. If you disagree with me, by the way, you're a content creator, let me know how well your channel's doing with ARK content, exclusively ARK content, compared to where it used to be. Or if it's still doing better, look, prove me wrong. Tell me it's doing better than it used to be. You let me know how you are getting on with your ARK content. Now, that's not just a YouTuber whinging because the game's dying, so it means my content's dying. I'm happily making other content. I'm loving making new content, whether it's Fallout 4, whether it's Conan Exiles, No Man's Sky, I'm about to start jumping on. I've got so many new games I want to take a look at. I've been promoting brand new stuff coming out, so much so, like Vigor as well. I'm doing okay. I'm lucky that I've always covered other games and I can actually get away with showing other games on my channel. Whereas some channels, I've literally only done ARC for the last two years, they're in trouble because they just got nothing fresh to show you. Unless they're PC people, and even then PC YouTubers aren't necessarily doing as well as they used to because eventually Xbox and PS4 people, you get a bit sick and tired of actually seeing people play stuff that you can't play. It's fun for a while, you see something new, you see a bit of clickbait, you see YouTubers trying something exciting, you think, oh, it's going to come to console, but it's not. They're never coming to console. All these mods you see are never going to reach console on ARK Survival Evolved. Any other YouTuber that says different, they're lying, it's clickbait, it's designed to get you to just keep watching their bullshit. Now, I've had a discussion with the creator of Dragon Punk or the Dragon Punk Collective before talking about mods and how intensive mods are on systems and he's admitted that they would never be able to get the whole of the Dragon Punk collection onto a console in its current state. Maybe like PS5, Xbox, Z, X, Y, whatever the fuck the next one's going to be called, who knows. But we were never going to see this kind of stuff because it's simply not enough RAM and the PC systems need a lot of that operating system. They need a lot of RAM to run these mods. That's why you just don't see lots of mods on systems. Skyrim and Fallout are different. They have been ported over and that's what happened with our ARC mods. That's what happened with the Center mod and the Primitive Plus mod and Ragnarok. It was ported so it meant that it had a lot of time and effort put into just them three mods to fit and run well on console. But they can't do that for all the mods. They can't go through all their mods on Steam and, and put all of these in like a click of the, you know, it would take up so much resources and it wouldn't be worth it. They'd not make any money from it unless they started charging people. It'd have to go through Wildcard, then Wildcard would have to give it to Abstraction and whoever's put in the Xbox One version at the moment, and then they'd have to spend months porting it all over. That's why you don't see mods like these on console. So 
There you go. The more you know. Just a little bit of a, a lesson in case anyone's asking why these mods don't come to console. That is why. There's not enough RAM. The systems are still not in place correctly. Maybe in the future a game might crack it where they can simultaneously launch this kind of stuff on all systems. Yeah. That's that's the basis of this video. I want to celebrate communities. I want to celebrate great mod makers that are doing stuff, but I don't anymore because I've learned that it's just building up hype that most of the Ark Survival fans that I know aren't going to be able to enjoy. You're not going to be able to play this if you're on Xbox or PS4, so I don't feel like I should show you lots of stuff all the time. You know, I might show stuff on PC, I might show a mod now and then, but to keep showing you modded gameplay when I know the most of my rat bags that watch me and like me are console players, I just don't see the point. And I think you guys realise that as well. So there you go. That's just a little bit of a moan, a whinge, a rant. What are Wildcard doing? What have they been doing? I think it's time. I think we need answers about what they've been working on. Why they haven't got the Extinction DLC ready in time. Why there's such a big delay on it. Why it's not coming out to November. And they need to increase content. From now until November, if they just keep giving us shitty dinosaurs once a month to fucking tame that we've had in the game in the form of skins, or we're only getting cosmetic items or explorer notes, this game is going to die so hard. Like, yes, on Steam there's a huge player count, but that's because they're playing modded, not on Xbox and PS4. The game is dying. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. Correct me. Tell me I'm wrong, but give me some evidence. Point me in the direction of some hard facts, and I'll gladly argue. I'll even get you on the show. I'm Joe Plays Games. This has been an ARK rant. I'll see you at bags for more ARK news, hopefully less ranty next time.